He's become an elder statesman, honoured as a peacemaker, but Gerry Adams is also dogged by questions about the years he spent leading the fight against British rule in Northern Ireland, and in particular about the murder of one innocent woman. When I got back, I could hear screaming, and I knew the screaming was coming from my home. Jean McConville was a widow with ten children when she was abducted and murdered by the IRA. Helen was her oldest daughter, just 15 at the time. I've always said they should have come in the middle of the night and just wiped the whole family out. And even though we've grown and have had our own families, um, you never lose that peace of being a terrified 15-year-old kid. Um, they just ripped the heart out of us. It was 1972, one of the worst years of the Troubles. Gerry Adams had been interned, accused of being a member of the IRA. It would be nearly another 30 years before the IRA admitted to the killing of Jean McConville and her body was found buried on the deserted beach. By this time, Gerry Adams was a leader in the peace process. But testimony from some of his former associates given to an academic study says he was involved in the murder. He denies it. The flats where Jean McConville was taken have been demolished and much of this part of West Belfast has changed. But one thing hasn't. This was a strongly Republican area then, and it's a strongly Republican area today, sympathetic to Gerry Adams. His allies say the reason he's been arrested and held in this Antrim police station is because he's the victim of a plot. There was still a dark side within policing here in the north of Ireland. And I've, I think we've seen that dark side uh, flex its muscles in the course of the last a couple of days. Helen McKendrick says she wants him to face justice for the sake of her mother. I'm fighting for her. She's not here anymore. She, I, I, we're the only ones to fight for. And that's the way it's going to be. Until you get what you think is justice. Yeah. And if I don't live to see it, then I hope my children and grandchildren can fight on, and, which they've told me they will, and get the truth. That he played a vital role in the peace process is undeniable. That a murdered woman's family has a right to justice, that's undeniable too.